Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. No pressure, Brian. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com. If you're an entrepreneur running a six, seven, or eight figure business and wanna grow and wanna be around other top performers, this is for you. It's a group of top entrepreneurs that come together to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Rise25 is run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran, former White House writer under Bill Clinton, Silicon Valley attorney and entrepreneur. Check out rise25.com, it's application only. Brian, today we have Brian Goulet, he's co-founder of the Goulet Pen Company with his wife, Rachel. They run an online retail store focusing on fountain pens, ink, paper, and other tools for the writing enthusiast. They've grown it from a mom and pop startup from their dining room table to a multi-million dollar operation with over 40 team members and a 12,000 square foot office space warehouse. Brian, thanks for joining me. Absolutely, Jeremy. It's a thrill to be here. Thank you so much. So, Brian, since this Inspired Insider, I always ask what's been the lowest moment and how you push through and then what's been the proudest. So what's been the lowest moment, a tough time? That's, uh, that's an easy one. Well, <laughs> I've had a couple, actually, um, related specifically to the business. I've had some personal stuff go on. I won't get into that, but... Related specifically to the business, it would be that event, Business Gets Personal. So here I mm. get to meet my idols, the people who have helped me to achieve this incredible thing. We're in New York City and it's amazing. And literally that trip was one of the hardest trips mm. for my wife that she's ever had. Really? She's struggled with anxiety. It's uh, something that runs throughout her family. She's a very hard-driving, hard-performing individual, just like myself. Um, but you know, at times she's been crippled from anxiety of overworking herself, and to the point where she physically like can't work. And um, she, at that time, this was several years ago. She's worked through a lot of that now, but it's not been without its challenges. So when when we went to that event in New York, I'm not joking. She was like, you know, sick in the bathroom at the airport you know, just thinking about even getting on the plane. Mm. And so here it is, I'm going to this event where I get to meet my icons and get honored as being this amazing, you know, rocket ship of a business. And yet I was barely able to get her out of bed to go to the event with me to be honored for this. Mm. And that feeling of I have this incredible thing that I feel super fulfilled and called to do that is also like killing my wife. And that was like both a high and a low point for me, like I've never had in one single event before. Yeah. And it, it's affected, you know, uh, the way, the strategy, the way we've grown our business, because I think at the time, you know, Rachel's a lot more introverted than I am. She likes to be more behind the scenes. She's very task driven and not very people like leadership oriented. So um, it, we've had to have some like very hard realizations that she's not going to be the front person of the business like I am. And she's not going to be the right. leader, take charge person. She's extremely capable in many different areas. And believe me, she is like the oil that greases everything around this company. Right. But she doesn't have any direct reports because the whole direct managing thing is like just not her thing it just creates right. so much anxiety for her yeah so to realize like both her and I are so aligned and so strong you know together but to feel like that rift of kind of like yeah we need to be very much serving in different yeah. ways that was a that was a really yeah. hard period for us for several years because and then still it's like there's still work that needs to be done you know we're still growing and we we're hiring people and all this kind of stuff and we had to kind of figure that out and it took us several years to really work through all of that, but it's still a challenge. Yeah, it's still yeah. something she has to fight today because, yeah. you know, everything is trade-offs. It's fairly it's common. Kind of, a lot of people have that. There's yeah. so many yeah. business business entrepreneurs that struggle with anxiety, and it's amazing because it's not talked about very much. And it's very, especially with guys, it's very macho of like, oh, yeah, I'm like this invincible person. It's like, no, actually, there's so many people that struggle. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of it's just pressure you put on yourself, you yeah. know. Um, Rachel, she doesn't really 
give much of a crap of what other people think of her, but it's it's about what she it's, she doesn't want to be a failure. You know what right, I mean? Right. Like that's huge. Yeah. That's a huge thing that is a struggle for high performers. So Brian, on the flip side, one of the most proud, you know, one of the proudest. Oh gosh, proudest moments, huh? There have been well, a lot of proud moments, honestly. Um, that's a good question. I think of a proud moment. Um, for me, it hasn't been like any one single event, probably, that's been like, oh, this is the proudest day I've ever had. Um, I think for me, it's about uh, everything that drives me is about leading by example. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I put a lot of pressure on myself. That's why I read so much material is because I know, you know, uh, John Maxwell has this concept called the leadership lid, says that you're always going to be, as the CEO, you're always going to be the lid for your organization. Mm. So in order to grow your company, you have to grow yourself. Yeah. And that like strikes me to the core. So I'm like, I have to continually make myself better, more competent, yeah. capable, more caring, more empathetic, smarter, all around so that I can provide better direction and leadership to all my team. I think one of the things um, that's been most gratifying now, having invested several years into members of my team, is uh, seeing how things run when I'm not here. Mm. You know, definitely I spend a lot of time bringing my, my special magic, you know, and I spend a lot of time delegating and, and only spending my time on the things that I can do, like this interview, for example. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, like when my team is taking care of stuff and I get to see them start to excel in ways that even I couldn't, you know, like somebody who's a little stronger relationally than I am, you know, help to mediate uh, two people that are having a miscommunication mm. in a way that I know that I even couldn't, but mm. I know I provided leadership to that whole situation. Right, right. That to me, in a very non-flashy way, yeah. is like so deeply satisfying yeah. knowing that I'm affecting and helping grow people yeah. in their own personal development, leadership, and opportunities. It's like it's 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 it's, it's something that I didn't expect yeah. when I first started this company. But it's something that as I'm going along, I'm like, wow, this is like fruits of labor that yeah. I could not have even foreseen, but I'm I'm driven towards accomplishing more of that yeah. now. Yeah. So Brian, I know we're right at the time. Tell <laughs> people where can they find out more, where, th where should they go? Absolutely. So my website is gulepens.com. Uh, G-O-U-L-E-T. Pens. Pens. Yeah. Com. Or you can just search fountain pens, Goulet, or whatever, and you'll He's find it. He's all over the internet, yeah. All over the place there, especially YouTube. Um, we're pretty active on Instagram, too, so you can check out Goulet Pens on Instagram. Yeah. Any We name all of our different profiles with Goulet Pens, so you should check Twitter, you can check um, you know, Periscope, you can check Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube. Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we're on all of those things. Yeah. Uh, me personally, if you are more driven to like the business side of things, I don't talk about this stuff quite as much on the Goulet Pens channels because it's a little more you know pen focused. For sure. But me, me personally, I've got a Twitter handle, uh, a Brian Goulet underscore, and then I'm on Instagram at Brian dot Goulet, and then I'm on Snapchat as well as just Brian Goulet. Yeah. Brian, hugely valuable. Everyone should check out GouletPens.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been an honor. I hope somebody gets something out of this. <laughs> they will, for sure. Thanks. <laughs>